All right, so today we're starting my truck camper build. Um, the garage, as you can see, is a little bit messy. Uh, it's just because we moved, so you can ignore that. For anybody asking about the weight of the actual camper, um, I do have airbags in my car, which I'll show you. Um, so that'll help um, with the weight, but I really shouldn't have an issue. The entire truck camper should be less than about 600 pounds. Um, so that's kind of the reason that I'm building it myself. A lot of the ones that you can buy um, are upwards of 1,200 pounds. And I want to save as much gas as I can. So most of the truck campers, they build a box, put it over the wheel well, and then this is all wasted space, and then down there is wasted space. Um, but I want to be able to access all these boxes and get as much space as I can. So my plan is to build on top of this rather than building the whole box inside. Um, the first thing I'm going to have to do is take these off. All you do for that is you just lift it up, and they're all kind of notched in right there. And slowly, you keep going down, it'll just pop off completely. And now I have access to be able to get into here to bolt down onto these side rails. Which another point of view, it's over here. So I'm gonna do clamps into here, pretty much like that. And then the plan is to go one, two, three, four, and then five. Bolt down there, do it all the way across here and all the way across there. So I'm gonna do something like this. Build this one by four and I like this because then I can get six feet across so I can actually sleep up above the cab. I'm planning on bringing it all the way up here and over. So the plan here is to run this flush, hook it into these across all five bolts, and then that way I'll get an extra two inches so when I bring it up to the cab it'll be a little bit more room to sleep on. Hopefully that should work. So the bolts aren't put in permanently yet. Um, I'm just trying to, trying to take a look at it. So essentially, obviously this has to be put in a little bit deeper. That's going to drill all the way through. And so we're going to have five of those going along across, bolted there. And I'll probably end up clamping this just as a extra safety precaution. So I don't know if I'm gonna to wanna to access this part, but worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna put a window built into the actual camper. Um, but for right now, I just marked mark here, and then a mark over here. So that's where these vertical struts will kind of go. So again, right here is where we're gonna bolt and glue down these two by twos. And then on the ends, we're gonna use um, two by fours. So in order to have a little bit more structural integrity on the board that we're going to put alongside the truck, um, we're going to put in some notches. I think we're going to do um, four separate notches for four vertical structures. So that way it should hold together a little bit better. with.
So essentially what these notches are for, if you can kind of see, what those are gonna do is hold the two by four supports for the beam for where the cab over is gonna be above the bed and that'll just help it a little bit more structurally. So two of those will go across um, and actually go above the cab. Come to the middle more. Okay. I think you just have a heavy side. <laughs> So that's going to be the end of this first video. Uh, tomorrow we're going to get working on the front section of the truck um, and hopefully be able to widen it up a little bit so that you can have a little bit more leg room um, when I'm sleeping up top above the cab over. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any tips, let me know and I'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching.